Welcome to the Kenneth Otalo podcast experience. We provide our listeners with thought-provoking and informative content covering aspects of business, lifestyle, finance, health and fitness. Get ready for the next episode. So, Hi again. hello, Moses. It's an absolute pleasure. Welcome. So this is the Otalo podcast experience. Uh, really just give you the platform just to really chat, just to see what's happening on your side. Um, obviously, I got to know you through Arena, and it's a good to, you know, she said it'd be amazing for you to be able to come on, so the floor is open, basically. Uh, one thing she said, which is quite interesting, is that um, you're Cuban. Yes. I've never been to Cuba, but Cuba's always been the one place, like, like I'm born and raised in the UK, first generation from Africa, but Cuba has so much history, and that's a place I've always wanted to go to. Like, so just tell me about yourself and your upbringing in Cuba, and, and how and how you got to Vienna, basically. So just go back in all bit. I'm just interested. So your name is Moses Perez, right? Perez is like a typical. Is that like a typical Cuban name? Um, Perez, would you say? Perez is, is uh, coming. So people say that it's coming more from Spain. Oh, from Spain. Because we were uh, Cuba's colony of Spain, and then. Uh, uh, Perez and Nales are coming from there. Uh, so first, in first place, Ken, thank you very much for the invitation. I think that there are more interesting people than me to <laughs> sit here. Yeah. But uh, I thank you very much to you and to Irena for bringing us together to have this. Uh, first, I have to say that you have to be, uh, uh, you have to have uh, patience with me mm. because I, my English is not so good, no. but I try to do my best. <laughs> my Spanish is worse than your English. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, you asked me about my history about Cuba, so i make you my history short. Um, I am a, a guy who was growing up and on the 13 I lost my, my mom. Mm. I was 13, so with 13 years I had to take care of two other younger uh, brothers. Mm. They were, uh, one was uh, 11 and the other one was 9. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, so um, I have a very hard uh, growing up life, but I was not the best student either. Sorry. <coughs> and was this actually in Havana or where? No, I was in Havana. Okay, okay. Yeah. So um, I made a school. Uh, I made some courses. I wanted always to be an entertainer, mm. <coughs> which was my dream, and I becoming true and today is my lovely wow. job <coughs> then uh, I grow with the support of uh, my grandpa mm -hmm. and, and my uncle but most of the time we were living alone so there were three children living alone mm -hmm. uh, with the support of the neighbors mostly I can tell you from offering us uh, some rice for eating or, mm. or whatever so we, we were really <coughs> in a difficult situation because another of my brothers, one of my brothers gets sick of schizophrenia paranoid. Okay. But uh, we have the support of the neighbors, of uh, the teachers of the school and so on, so we could make it until today. And uh, as a matter of fact, I am very proud of, of making it out of my life without to become a criminal or something mm -hmm. like this. So um, I finished the school, I wanted to be an entertainer, uh, but I don't have the <coughs> Sorry, I don't have the English to make the course. So well. even in Cuba, you still had to make had be for, for proficient in English to be an entertainer because obviously Cuba. No, 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 no. Uh, they offer a course. Okay. Uh, they make an audition. People come. They put the requirements to be in the course. Uh, if you fulfill the requirements, you make some uh, practical tests, Got some it. writing tests. Yes. Like for example, they ask you, okay, sing me a song in, in um, Spanish, one song. Mm -hmm. And you sing a song that is maybe from Gente de Sola. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then they say, okay, now imagine that right now you lose your best friend. Mm -hmm. Sing the same song with the same test for your friend who just died. Wow. So they want to see your, uh, I don't know if it's your emotional, your emotional uh, intelligence, your exactly, reaction. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So they see how is your creativity and so on and they choose you. Mm. They make these tests like uh, for, I don't know, maybe 500 uh, guys and they choose 23 and I was in the middle of the 23. So for me it was like, wow, the okay. paradise. So um, working, I was uh, working in the National Hotel of Cuba, 
as a um, um, First, these guys who are uh, watching the ditches. Yes. After I was the chef's tour for a couple of uh, months, then I went out on this to uh, participate in a program where they were pulling together some young people that finished the high school and they didn't want to keep going uh, in university, mm -hmm. and they wanted to get some em emergent uh, um, uh, nurses okay. and teachers. Mm -hmm. It was in the period of the crisis in the country in the 90s, uh, so the children were not really in the, how do you say, in the mood to study a career because they said okay. after I finish where I'm going to yeah. work. So what's the, what's the long term yeah, objectives, yeah. long term So um, I made this, um, I got married to um, um, two times. Same time? No, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, but when you say you got married three times, I'm thinking time, okay. The second time yeah. was with an Austrian yes. uh, uh, woman. Uh, so this is all within while you were still in Cuba? Yeah, it was so happening within, I was around in Cuba, yeah. Okay, so let's go. So, okay, so you were married in there. In Cuba. Oh, so you got married in Cuba, fine. So the first marriage, was, the second marriage was here. Was here, fine. So the first marriage with, with a Cuban woman. No, I'm sorry, I have to correct. The second marriage was with someone from here, but it was in Cuba. Got it. it took place in Cuba. Now I understand. Okay. Okay. It took place in Cuba yeah. with an Austrian uh, woman, and then from this, uh, from the first marriage and the second marriage, I have uh, uh, two girls mm -hmm. who are my life. Oh, amazing. And the uh, third one who come after uh, two, so I have three girls. Okay. And, Congrats. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah. So very fast. This is my life. How is that like raising kids? Because I presume, obviously, from your first marriage, second marriage, they live in two different locations. So I guess your kids don't live in the same country? Look, I will tell you this very straight and hard. Mm. Uh, I have not been the best father. I okay. say this. I try very hard to, to be, mm. but it's impossible to be the, the good father. In The idea that I have a father is to be there full time for your kids. Yes. So I try to do my best at the time that I have my child. I try to suck the best of them and try to teach them the best of me. Mm -hmm. um, I have one child in Cuba, uh, a communication uh, by telephone is uh, regular, mm -hmm. but this doesn't mean that our relation is the best, mm -hmm. because the best is be there, yes. but life is not perfect and you, there are situations that make you change all the time. With the ones that I have here, I have a good relation with them, I take them with me, make activities with them, yes. so yeah. I am in full in their life. Yes. And how often do you travel back to Cuba now? Um, normally. Um, and this is something uh, that funny. Uh, many people have the idea that once that you left Cuba, mm. you cannot come back. This is the question. This is what I was asking. I, I, don't, I know what you're asking. Yes. Me. I tell you something funny. <laughs> in, the, in the last part of the entertainment uh, or entertainment course, they ask us to present some uh, work. Mm. Um, about something that we would like to express mm. in a scientist uh, event of yes. the school where the guys were making some investigations how to um, pro, um, how to provide a better entertainment service Got it. and my work was about which are the 100 questions that a tourist will make a Cuban mm. because in the program that we have there in the entertainment school was uh, we have different uh, signature, I mean, not signatures, um, like mate and so on. I don't know how it's called that. Mathematics, oh, chemistry. Oh, mathematics, chemistry. But so this kind of like STEM. So science, technology, yes. engineering, How do you call this? So this is like STEM courses. Okay, yes. STEM, STEM courses. Yes. Um, and one of them was politics. Okay. They, in, they teach us about uh, politics and stuff. But in none of these lessons, they mention these hard questions that the tourists make us mm. straight okay because you make it now to me very politely yes but they said something like okay in that time mm. what happened in cuba when fidel died wow and in cuba we were not ready for that question yes i mean yes. who will know mm. and then someone asked you oh, one german guy asked me for example yes. uh, moses it's true that fidel castro take uh, the skin of the tourists the, of the old people to make uh, um, screen of tvs and you are in shock because wow. how is it possible that someone who is coming from the first com first yes. level of yes. development country is coming to my country from the third world 
to ask me such a question. Questions. It's crazy. Yes, yes. But the people are well already. So I made my 100 questions, uh -huh. asking 50 of my friends around the world, which are the first five questions that they would make a cure back. I put them together. Yes. And one of them was this one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that that's that. interesting. So that's why for me, it's not yes. a surprise. Yes. So what do you do though? So you basically just have like a, some form of a template. And this template I is... send it to uh, my email to these 50 friends of mine around the oh. world. And they answer me back. Okay. This, 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 and then I put them together and I said, this one is the same one, this one is about the revolution, this one is about economy, this one is about the income, this one, that all of them were uh, things that some of them were true, mm. but even the way that you uh, uh, f um, uh, made the question yes. was already influenced by something, by your position or yes. your experience mm. or your history, because it could happen that someone, for example, who have a, a parent who was the owner of a place that the revolution come and nationalize, you take from that that the revolution steal from you. Mm -hmm. So when you are going to make that question, you make it like, what do you think about uh, the, the, the properties that the revolution steal from the people? Mm -hmm. And neutral people would say, um, what do you think about the properties that were nationalized? Mm -hmm. Because in the international law says, that every government have the right to nationalize every property in its territory. Okay. This is international law. This is, yeah. but, I mean, when you take the international law like reference to make a question, yes. this is great. This mm -hmm. is where people have to say uh, their own opinion, because yes. this is what I think that the journalists should make. True. Questions about what the people think, but neutrally. Not telling you so do you think questions. that that template also that you have is yeah. those list of questions you have? Yeah. Do you think that should be incorporated within the school system in terms of understanding part of history, definitely. the politics aspect, definitely. the tourism, definitely. Definitely. so people know how to react to certain questions? Definitely. It's interesting. No, it's not. It's, I don't think that it's about the way that the people have to make the questions. Mm. You make the questions the way that you organize it. Mm. But what I am, I am from the opinion that you have to make it like a journalist that respects himself yes. neutrally. So journalists, and this is a fact, have to make a question because of the boss say you have to say like this. Mm. The other has to say like the other one says. But when you are a serious journalist who are who are a compromise with the news, you make it neutral. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I like it or not. Non-biased. The, the yes. thing is that okay, for example, uh, interview a CNN come to me, a, a question I don't know whatever. Um, it's just a sample that I make it before, I don't yes. want to, yeah. to make it too long. Yeah. It's to really exercise the, the journalism, but with neutrality, because this is the way it should work. Mm -hmm. Not to tell me, oh, you are the best, or not to tell me you are the worst, mm -hmm. but ask me, how am I? And yes. then you can give your opinion like journalist or like person. Mm -hmm. You have to separate, because this is a good question. True. But don't you think sometimes that, obviously as a standard journalist, should be neutral, non-biased? But we are now seeing this new age of media where people are taking a different style. Because, you know, sometimes if you're a journalist or you're in the media, if you're just taking the middle road, it's not going to get, get those clicks. So if people are thinking, how can I be able to grow? Let's just say, for example, if you have a media channel and you focus on a specific part, let's just say, whatever it may be, so you're left wing, you're right wing, we're liberal, yes? You're providing this, so there's obviously going to be a certain part of people that are not going to be happy. But what tends to happen, maybe unfortunately in the news today, is that whether it's good news or bad news, it sells. So how would you incorporate having that, as you just mentioned, mm -hmm. in terms of non-biased views and really still building up that pipeline and trust? Listen, uh, the new way to make journalism in internet without the uh, 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 power in your back telling yes. you drive to the right, drive to the left, pull it up or pull it down, is the best solution. Mm. For me, in my opinion, and other people can think different, yes, yes. in my opinion, I don't want that you be nice to me. Mm. I don't want that you be an answer to me, mm. but I want that you do what you want to do the way that you want to do, mm. but with respect. Yes. Respect. respect. And respect means I have never studied journalism mm. in my life. I have never seen this. Yes. But from the questions, I can know with which, in which direction the people were coming. For example, right now, 
I know that your questions, one of them, when I tell you openly about everything about Cuba, uh, one of your questions will be about politics. If I am the one who make you the interview and you tell me that you're from England and you tell me, Moses, we can speak about everything, I will write on my list the Brexit. Yes. So, yes. Uh, uh, of course, someone will ask about Fidel, another one will ask about uh, the tornado that happened in Cuba. If someone, I ask someone in, in, in from Italy mm. about something, I will maybe ask the people in the list of my list, I will put pizza. Mm. Why do you think that the pizza is the best in Italy and not in Switzerland or another country? But someone will write too about yes. politics, yes. what people are reading in the news. And unfortunately, what you read in the news is what the people have like reference many times of the countries. Mm. I can tell you something. There is no single person who go to Cuba and don't change the perception of that country after they left. That's interesting. No single person. It doesn't mean that you're going to become socialist or communist or revolution. No, 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 no. I don't mean it in that way. Mm -hmm. But your perception of Cuba will change totally. Wow. Because the people, what people see in the news is that people is a dictatorship. Cuba is a dictatorship, mm -hmm. and it's about politics. Mm -hmm. About politics. If something is bad, there you go. Mm -hmm. But just, let's just not put it on only in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about America. Yes. What is the first topic in America? Donald Trump. We know, yeah. But in America, there are good things yes, happening too. Of course. There are in the United States, because yes. this is another mistake. Yes. We say yes. America, America the is United Canada. States, America. Yeah. Yes. So in the United States, people are talking about Donald Trump. The guy is an asshole, discriminate the women, talk about races, have done stupid things that for us are stupid and we hate them all. Good. But there are good things happening in America, mm. in the United States. Mm. And there are good people there doing amazing things. Mm. And there are people who have good feelings, and they are and in all the levels, from the top to down. True. So, uh, I think that the people have to be ready, not only to Cuba, everywhere they go, mm. to try to say, okay, I will switch on my open mind uh, way of thinking, mm. I will go there and I will experience, and then I will make my own opinion about this. There are things that I am agree, there are things that I not agree with any single country of this planet. Mm. And He's so talking about the US, because you mentioned about the US, mm -hmm. and obviously... So going back to... How is it like growing up? Because obviously during the Cuban Revolution, what, 1953 to mm -hmm. 1958, how is that like? Because I guess you were very young then, mm -hmm. yes? I, um, I was born in the 73, so I was... Okay. Three. I have 46 years. 46, good. So that's what I was thinking, okay, yeah. So basically, your parents were really at there in their twenties, I presume, on that height. Mm -hmm. So, what do you know of that whole process? Because when it went moved from that Cuban Revolution, then all the way to like two thousand and fifteen, when the ties between the U.S. and Cuba were can, can well, I can tell you this in the resolved. history that we were learn. Um, we were colony of Spain. Then come uh, um, the first, I would say, the first revolution mm -hmm. stuff, because revolution, people have uh, placed this word revolution only for the process to fulfill them. Mm. But revolution belongs to change. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Not to exactly that. But it's okay. So, we have the first revolution from the own people, from the country, slaves and all these people, rebelling against the, the Spanish, uh, much before. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, the American came in Cuba, uh, pretending to calm down the things, intervene, mm. and they put their fingers really deep mm. inside of Cuba. Not only militarily, but uh, economically. Mm. So the five more important companies of the country belong to America. Mm. Electricity, I don't know, remember sugar, production and so on, belongs to America. So this is in terms of the businesses that are owned, so private businesses? No, 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 the, the, the telephone company, okay, the, the companies, big companies, the, big, the, the telco big companies, the countries, got it. Were there. Yes. which is logic because yes. I mean I don't think that the resources. No, I mean, is logic mm. from the uh, from the economical way because I don't think that after war Cuba will be ready to, to develop such a thing. Yes. But they use this moment to practically practically to invade Cuba mm. somehow. Mm. They place governments that were convenient for them, like I have done in the whole America and so yeah. on. And um, this is the history that we study in books, in Cuba, and so on. I cannot say uh, from full my own uh, experience how was it, but 
I saw many uh, suffering in many people. Some people will tell you that there was more prosperity, there were more food everywhere, there were shops everywhere, but some other people will tell you that they don't have the money to go to these shops, yes. and they the money, the police was hitting the people. I mean, there were many different histories. Mm. I, can't, I can't tell you about mine. Yes, exactly. And this is what I say now is to repeat what I have learned until today. Mm. I don't say that it's a lie, I don't say that it's uh, true. I just say that this is what I have learned because mm. I have experience that reading in my education in school. So, about the process of the revolution, there were people who take it very in a good way. There were, in the two of the revolution, uh, 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 things that were done correctly, things that were not done correctly, mm. not well done, were uh, wrong done. Um, and even until today, there are still things that are changing. Some for good, some don't move, mm -hmm. some for worse mm. too, um, but um, more than uh, what I could tell you is that there is something that I appreciate a lot uh, about all these years, with bad and good things, mm. and this that every place I go, when I say that I'm from Cuba, people see me with respect, mm. with love, mm. most of the time, I'm telling you 99.9%, wow. and this is the result of not only the history before the revolution, but after the revolution. Mm -hmm. um, I was a child living alone in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my neighbors who support me. I have a complete education. I don't have to pay a coin for that. Wow. So I have education for free. And in this way, I am very sensible for the things that were done in the revolution. Mm -hmm. Very sensible. Mm -hmm. In the other uh, uh, direction, there are things that I was not agreeing that moment, for example, that if they catch you with a dollar in the pocket, you can go into prison. Wow. That was Just years before. Had foreign no, 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 foreign yeah, currency. you were not. Yes. But then uh, I, 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 I got a, a document or something that, and people were saying because Fidel uh, did this. Mm. And this was not because of Fidel, it was because of someone who was in charge of the bank at the beginning saw that the previous government, Batista, was taking all the money from the country. Oh, the previous? The previous government, oh, the government. took a lot of millions. Okay. And then the, the, the person in charge of the Bank of National Bank of Cuba mm -hmm. took the decision that nobody could have currencies. Wow. But nobody got aware that after that, someone had to bring this to normality. Mm. And the people, the country, was paying the price of this mature that was out of place. Mm. They corrected yes. afterwards. And now people are using the coins and so on. But uh, um, in general, I think that uh, I am very thankful for what the revolution, the country uh, gave to me mm -hmm. from my neighbors. Many of them were against the revolution, others with the revolution. But for, for all of them, there was something in common. When you need a little bit of sugar, this one was giving a little bit to the other. It doesn't matter if you think That's about uh, anything. Yes. Now, what you don't see out of Cuba. When you see out of Cuba, then you see someone, it happened my experience here. Uh, I don't say that I'm left, I don't say that I'm right. Mm. I am Moises. Mm. And I have learned in my life because I have bad experience from both sides. Mm. I have lies from both sides. I have things that will not tell openly and the way they have to be safe from both sides. Mm. Left and right. Mm. So I learned that I have to have my own opinion and take my own decisions that are the ones that are going to affect to the people who I care. Yes. But I keep all the time supporting and helping that the things get better mm. between my people. My people mean every habitant of Cuba. Yeah. Because people think that Cuba is a government. Mm. A government is a part of Cuba. Yes. But Cuba is the people who are there, are the trees, are the plants, are the beaches, are the, the people who don't have to give a foot to the children. This is Cuba. Mm. Cuba is not what we see on the CNN or the BBC or the one of these. Uh, Cuba, to, to really see Cuba, you have to go there to see Cuba. Mm. And this is what I try to tell every person who go there. And to assume your, 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 your question, I think that uh, in the order of uh, when you compare what was happening before and what I saw um, on different documentaries, even now that I'm out of Cuba, that I can have more uh, information 
let's say in YouTube, in many Various things. sources. Yeah, many YouTube sources. Can, yes. I think that in many ways, the revolution made many things better. Okay. Uh, there are um, things like education that were really affected mm -hmm. because of the crisis of the 90s. Mm -hmm. That's why they took the decision to try to bring the young guys with some programs yes. uh, to become uh, teachers with good things, with bad things. But I think that more than bad things, these programs of teachers that were very young guys and uh, nurses and uh, social workers uh, make better the country. Because if this wouldn't be done, mm -hmm. believe me, the situation in Cuba now would be much, much worse. So you're saying bringing in these required career occupations that people can be able to learn, study, and then work. Yeah. To yeah. be able to then social work. No, let, me, let, me, let me put you in a situation. In the 90s, there was a big crisis. Mm. Economically, El Cicero was a help. Now, one pound of rice in Cuba costs four Cuban pesos. Okay. In euros, it's like four cents euro, five cents euro, mm -hmm. five, five or six cents euro, more or less. Okay. One pound of of uh, one, one pound of rice. Oh. One pound of rice. Wow. Okay. So, on the open market. Yes. In that time, mm -hmm. one uh, pound of rice. Uh, rise the price. I mean, you see, in Cuban pesos, it's five Cuban pesos. Mm -hmm. In that moment of the crisis, one pound of rice reached 100 Cuban pesos. Crap. You can see the, so the difference. Rise. There was a rise. It was so. a really difficult situation. So, of course, the young people that were finishing the high school, there were a big number. So, we're talking they, about hyperinflation, basically. Big, yes. big huge. Uh, they went to the house and they don't want to go to university or nothing because they see what well, I'm going to go to work and then I'm going to get a salary of what? Mm. 10, 10, in that time, uh, uh, 10, 8, 10 euros? Mm. Uh, it makes no sense. So most of them try the choice of staying at home. Gotcha. Another situation was that many of the, of the um, teachers and the doctors and so on and professionals uh, decide to go to another sector like tourism where they could have better income and better situation. Some of them went out of the country. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this situation, the government created a program of social workers, uh, emergent uh, nurses, and um, emergent um, teachers okay. for the primary school. Very good. Can you imagine a whole generation without teachers, without nothing? So this was a really good decision. Mm. I put you an example with the social workers. Yes. They propose the guys that they will take the career that they want in the university mm -hmm. without to make any tests or nothing, mm -hmm. directly. So they will stray in wow. straight with, uh, with a salary besides, okay. and they have to work as social workers. But how can they tell one's competency or experience if they're going in without actually completing you only have to finish. You only have to finish the high school okay. and go inside of the program. Got it. Period. You got to study psychology. Psychology. So that acceleration process must have been so swift. It was oh. very, 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 but they have to, the decision has to be taken. Incredible. So, these guys, I will make you one example. Yes. This guy. Of course, there were people who needed to have some income. And the easiest way that they find, some of them, not everybody, mm -hmm. because everybody, everybody is not a thief, was not a thief or whatever. Some of them, for example, was working in a, a gas station. The gas station, they, Okay. Oh, okay. Go. What happened one day? Fidel took all the workers of the gas stations, mm -hmm. put them in the most important theater of Havana, Carlos Marx, mm -hmm. and tell the people, I want that you see this video, and show in the video how the people were stealing in some the gas stations of the country, of the city, how people were stealing uh, petrol and oil and every oil and, and everything. Yes. And then he told to the people, who can explain this to me? Where's the accountability? Yes. All the workers, my, yes. all the workers, wow. all were closed. So the, whole city, was... the whole city was closed, no gasoline. It was good. So starting tonight, all of you have three months of vacation. We are going to pay you your full salary, mm -hmm. and the social workers are going to play are going to be in the gasoline stations. Social workers that had trained for a different role and competency. The role and that they wanted to give to them yes. was this. 
Okay. There was one. The other one was to yeah. go to every house of every child mm. to see which of these child need a supplementary assistance of the government mm -hmm. for food and uh, vitamins and stuff like this. There were many, many, many projects. is a decentralized platform that implements leading edge artificial intelligence and blockchain to improve and increase your business processes. So if you are a freelancer and you want to create and deliver invoices via a trusted ledger and receive payments promptly, Calero can be able to help your processes. If you're a business that moves goods cross-border, import-export, and you want to receive real-time cash flow and spend analytics through your business and, and your mobile device and make and receive payments in a secure private payment system. For SMEs who want to automate their time expenses of their employees and increase the productivity and efficiencies of their project. For governments that want to oversight of accountability and transparency of spending and completion of contracts that's been allocated. Calero's dashboard provides the simplified and innovative processes that can help you grow. Added to an AI function where you can basically communicate directly and receive prompt responses. To find out more and sign up for a free trial, go to calero.io. So www kellero.io You were mentioned in terms of the movement when Obama came to mm -hmm. Cuba and there was a massive change and then for the new people in power. How did that impact? Because you said in terms of your business. So what was that change that actually occurred and what were you doing exactly? I tell you something. Um, in 2015, I, I went to Cuba get a place, mm -hmm. a house, and in this house I provide uh, work for my uh, uncle, okay. who is kind of the head of the family, yes. more or less, and um, to another, uh, let's say, four or five families in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Because it was not about my property, I send them sometimes clients to take property to, when my property was uh, busy, then I send it to the houses too. I even went to Cuba and go around the, the eastern part of Cuba yes. and uh, get some contacts there and people and send people to these families as well. <clears throat> For every of these families, let's say they were together like, let's say, 25 people, mm -hmm. i tell you how does it work. The plane comes with four tourists to Cuba. In the airport, they take a taxi. Mm -hmm. The taxi driver is having his own income because this taxi driver works for himself. Mm -hmm. Go to my house. In my house, my uncle welcomed this person. Mm -hmm. This person come up and my uncle welcomed them and asked them if they want to have some breakfast. Okay. So they say yes. And in the next morning, one woman come who have another family mm -hmm. and he's serving the breakfast. Mm -hmm. And this breakfast cost for these four people 20, 20, let's talk about euros, it's yes. a difference, but let's say 20 euros. Okay. From these 20 euros, this woman took it, took, let's say, 8 euros to pay the cost of what cost a, a breakfast. Mm -hmm. And the other 12 is what she will win on that time. Mm -hmm. if she will work in a... Uh, um, uh, company of the government. Okay. With the one breakfast. Now, from this breakfast, yes. take the 50% of taxes. Mm -hmm. It should have six euros. Mm -hmm. Six euros. Yes. Good. Uh, my uncle is having her his win too, because he has a salary payment salary. Mm -hmm. These people need to make a tour in the city. And then I call my cousin. Hey, these people are here at this hour. You have to come and make a tour in the old Havana. Gotcha. Okay, they get paid for this. Mm -hmm. So the family of my cousin is receiving some income. 
they have to make a pause, shower, and eat. Mm. This private place where they sit and eat feed some other families. Mm -hmm. And these other families are receiving some money from what they pay for eating and drinking. Got it. Good. After, these people have to go to another province mm -hmm. and go to another person and same story and same story. And these people are going to the flea market, to the um, um, souvenir market, mm -hmm. where work all the people private. Wow. Their own business. Yes. They sell a painting or a necklace or mm -hmm. something. And this money support and help his their family. Mm -hmm. So see how important is the change. So there's a yeah? change. And in this yes. change, I have no mention one second the government, which is the argument that the government of Trump is giving, that the income, the government of Cuba is making a lot of money uh, or whatever. But the people is really getting benefit. The people down ground, yes. yeah. If you are so worried about the people yes. down there, you don't care mm. that the government. But what is important? Policy. Mm. Again, policy. Yes. So when Obama came, he gave 16 licenses on the blockade. Sorry. So this was 2015 when he came. No, no, no. He came. Uh, he came after the diplomatic ties. He came, I think he was uh, 17 with. And then 17. I think. I think. Okay. I think so. Yeah. And then uh, came. Uh, he gave uh, on the blockade to Cuba, which is a fact. It's a reality. Yes. Because uh, Cuba buy uh, buses and immediately comes someone and says, "If you keep going selling Cuba these buses and the other pieces." I will stop supplying you all this uh, raw material that you need for making your buses. Okay. The metal or whatever. Yes. So what do the guy? No, by the way, I don't. I cannot lose this because no. my business go to ruins. So it's the loyalty price. Yes. Good. So <clears throat> the argument was first that Fidel was in power. The after was was the human rights. Mm. Afterwards, that the Castro's was making a, a long uh, term. Now it's another guy, and then they always invent one different shit. But the people who are down there, yeah, are receiving the best, the worst part of the cake. So you're saying, it's irrespective of the policies, the people that are like the actual inhabitants that are working are still trying to find ways to generate money. And at the end of the day, high taxes still have to be paid. In Cuba, uh, the taxes... So you said 50%. They, no, no, I make an example yes. of 50% yes. because they take from this a social security. Got it. Like, so all the 50% is almost here, yes. when you go in certain all income. Included. So, yes. it's, it's kind yes. of the same yes. story. Yes. There are people who are not happy with mm. the percentage yes. they get in the, in the taxes. I have been providing uh, to, uh, people to send to Cuba people that whose... Uh, um, Owner of places are very in disagreement with the with the taxes that they have. Mm. This is, and the other side is that we Cubans are still in the process of getting educated about to pay taxes and things like this mm. because in the capitalist world yes. there's something normal. Yes. But uh, in our country everything was for free. So realistically, yeah. really, it's like I don't know what the percentages are, but I know in other countries where okay. there isn't a standard structure in terms of filing mm -hmm. your taxes, mm -hmm. where certain governments, like only 10% of all taxes are recovered. Mm -hmm. So there's like 90% of taxes are not even being paid. So how is that process like? Because obviously there was a, for one to be educated as a business owner in Cuba, to then know at the end of the tax year to be able to file their taxes and pay. Look, I, I cannot tell you in details. Yes. Uh, how does it work the the the, the tax system? But uh, uh, from what I have, uh, my calculation more or less have been that the fifty percent of what you get, you get. I can tell you this: every month you have to pay immediately the ten percent of your income, mm. and at the end of the year you have to pay uh, the difference of the thirty percent. That you have uh, like an uh, income. Okay. So, so you've got an income tax. Income tax. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, in this direction, it's a big bite mm. because, for example, if you buy a house, if you buy a house uh, that costs you uh, twenty thousand euros, mm. and then you have to put furniture, beds, air conditioning, or whatever, let's put it bringing up to fifty thousand. 
you are able only to declare the 10% of your cost. Okay. So, when you finish this year, when you finish this year, you say, okay, the 10%, what am I going to do with the other uh, So, all the expenses you paid for renovation or whatever is required, only 10%, 10 of you, that, the, the government has said, you can be able to get back as, as a rebate. Yeah. This is wow. only 10%, and, and this is tough. Yes. This is tough. There is an amortization, they say that this is something that you get with the time, mm. uh, that this is, uh, the business is running. Yes. But still, it's a very hard uh, mm. point because, I mean, it's the first year mm. and you get a benefit of three months that you don't have to pay uh, taxes or nothing, but yeah. still. Don't give a chance. But three months is quite short. It's a huge difference. So, how have you found that with your business then? Because I know you mentioned you, you're in the real estate industry. It was. So, you was. Okay, so how was that like? And, and what is, is Cuba now a, an environment where people can be able to do business? where people can be able to do, whether it's import-export, global trade. I tell you, there are, there, are, there are things... There are things more attractive now? There are, things, to say, okay. there are things that uh, uh, I'm not happy with, personally. Mm -hmm. For example, I would like that the people, more people have the power or the facility to make exportations, direct exportations to Cuba. Okay. But the infrastructure to make it possible in Cuba, I don't think that is working mm -hmm. now. Um, it's a fact that this is true because I even feel it here in Austria. I was having a PayPal account yes. some years ago, and I received a notification from PayPal. Due to regulations of the government of America, the United States of America, you are not able to have an activated account in PayPal anymore. I know that was a history, maybe you look for it in yes. the internet. Uh, some Cubans were living here in Vienna. We're having accounts in, in uh, uh, Babak, I think it was Babak okay. or uh, Bank Austria, I don't yes. remember right. And the accounts were just cancelled. Wow. Close. So you can just remember. because there was a connection with the American Bank. I have yes. an account in Bank Austria yes. some uh, years ago, and uh, I have my account in Minos, mm -hmm. which is uh, something I have to say. And then uh, they proposed me a, 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 a way to solve the problem slowly. Yes. Uh, and I asked, is it possible to make these rates smaller or whatever? And they, they, they said, so like installments, basically. And they come yeah. back and they said, no, because of the uh, regulation that we have, uh, we cannot do it. Regulation from whom? No, from the uh, uh, um, um, American law. Now the bank is connected with American law. Oh, okay. Good. So, ah. Um, uh, just, I will tell you, just three days ago, yes. Booking.com, the only people in the whole world who are not able to receive back, uh, um, how do you say, um, when you give an opinion, uh, when you, uh, opinions, let's yes, say like this, yes. opinions of the guests mm -hmm. that stay in their houses are the Cubans. Oh, so you mean like giving a review? Review? Yes, yes. The Cubans. Because okay. of, and the argument that Booking.com gives is that because of American regulations. So wait a minute, so, so let's go yeah. back here. You, so, you're just doing right. You're just doing right. Yeah. So if you are a tourist, yeah. and you've now, you spent, spent a couple of nights in a hotel yeah. here, yeah. and now you want to give a review yeah. based on Booking.com, for yeah. example, yeah. and if this is somehow connected that there's an IP address that uh, you've yeah. given yeah. that shows that it's from yeah. a Cuban, yeah. 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 But you spend a couple of days, then you travel back, and then you give it a review of that hotel. Yeah, you cannot. Then you're not allowed. You cannot. Ranking. Incredible. You want to see which ranking you are in the compare with. You cannot. But you can make it in book in, in Airbnb. Okay. Yeah. But yes. in Airbnb, when you make a claim, yes. When you make a claim, the way that they process it for you is totally different mm -hmm. than the way that they process it for someone. I mean, for me, yes. as a Cuban living in Cuba. They is totally different than the way that they process it for someone from another part of the world. Okay. They say every single um, every single um, uh, uh, host mm -hmm. is uh, protected by our one million dollars uh, um, security police. Mm. So there's certain rights. If you have. listen, mm. I make a bet. Yes. If you accept, if you um, manage that someone from Airbnb says we. 
uh, are able to give. If someone loses the house in Cuba, we pay one one million uh, dollar for this in Cuba. If you see someone yes. who say this, you send it to me. Mm -hmm. I have some cases. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, yes. and the reason is I'm sorry because of some Cubans, uh, because of uh, some um, laws of America, it's not possible to apply this policy in Cuba. But that's what I said. So these are really from you, the examples you've given are how the American, American how American. the blockade is working. Yes. In the people, I'm not talking about the government. Yes. The government is another story, yeah, because the argument that they say no, this is in order to make pressure on the government, the communist country. You know, I'm telling you from the people, from the view of a private person. So you're seeing just daily occurrences of things, certain things that are different just due to where you're from yeah. and the cases you've given are based on booking.com mm -hmm. airbnb mm -hmm. which to my knowledge are mm -hmm. american registered companies mm -hmm. so obviously that's where that clear connection is mm -hmm. that would be different if it was a lithuanian company of course. that's interesting of course okay. i would like to see this i would like to see the fact mm -hmm. there's a situation very well described in airbnb someone burn up <laughs> Mm. The house, as consequence of a um, uh, incorrect behavior of a guest, mm. normally by the policies, Airbnb have to pay automatically after mm. investigations and the formal rights or one million dollar uh, up to one million dollar to the people. Mm -hmm. If you hear about one case in Cuba, one case in Cuba, let me know, please. I would like to know. So, what what changes do you feel like? Because obviously we've discussed in terms of real life cases that's happening what should be done to make uh, for progress to occur in terms of these examples that you've given i think that this would this won't be able to change on to you because you mentioned that not involve having the government aspect but really having the Listen, people uh, the population I think that that in this story uh, two parts have to uh two uh, parts have to take responsibility and um one is the cuban government mm. which have to make uh uh, may implement another policies mm -hmm. that uh, make that stimulate I would say that that stimulate the people to be more able to uh, uh, start uh, companies and their own thing and they have done it but the problem is that they have done it slowly okay yeah mm -hmm. with mistakes with uh, uh, good things that, I guess, yes because it's something yes. new. People have to understand that yes. part. Uh, they have made it, but there are things that are very hard. For example, mm -hmm. a Cuban cannot go in a cheap, in a tourist ship. Wow. Cuba cannot jump in a tourist ship. You can buy a tour to, uh, but you cannot go in a tourist ship. Mm -hmm. What is the, 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 the background of this? That some years ago there were people taking chips to try to go to America and so mm -hmm. on. I mean, like a kidnapping. Yes. Uh, Chips and all. So these things were happening, but the change, the times are changing, mm. and someone has to change this. And in the other side, uh, what I think that have to happen is that they change the head that is in in America because okay. it's connected. Cuba is not affected by the English people. Yes, it's not affected for the Australian people. Yes. it's not affected for the Australian people. Mm. The situation now that can give us the best benefit to both sides. Mm to both sides, mm. Cubans and Americans, is between the two governments. Mm. There are many people from agriculture in America that are crazy mm. to sell products to Cuba. And there are many Cubans who would like to have a normal relation. They, as a matter of fact, many of the relatives are living in America from both sides. So if you look at the diaspora, so yes, from both sides, yeah. so there's, a, there's a clear yeah. relationship in terms and of, of course, there is a There is a group of people who in, uh, are making of every single situation a bomb <laughs> to make this uh, uh, closing um, situation get worse and worse and worse so and worse. blowing things out of proportion, yeah. basically, yeah. 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 to prevent this yeah. relationship yeah. actually getting closer. Yeah. So. Mm. so regarding that, okay, so basically that's the transition move forward. So how does that change for you to then leave Cuba, your home, your family, your love? The culture, because you know the Cuban culture, Latin, the vibes you mentioned about entertainment. Yeah. How is that move like? Because obviously you're an entertainer, and then 
you know, how is that to move? And then tell me more about this whole entertainment and the Latino culture, the music. Listen, um, to leave Cuba, uh, I mean, to travel out of Cuba is in the head of many Cubans. Travel out of Cuba. Many young people think that travel out of Cuba is going out, then you have your house, yes. then you have a car, then you have a swimming pool, and then you have a dog like the one of her, Paris Hilton. Thing that the dog. Like the yeah. money falls off the trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. yeah. And fortunately, I, the first time that I left Cuba was in 2005 to Greece. Okay. And uh, I saw many, many things. And I said, wow, this is amazing. I, have, I was never in a market where I can find uh, a glass or the gym for a, um, a, um, a train okay. in the same market. Mm -hmm. it was, for me, it was wow. And what gave me more crazy was not this, but the cakes. Because you I saw the pasty bakery. Oh, the, okay, fine. So, so, you, so uh, every cafeteria, yeah. every bakery yes. that I was coming to, wow, yeah. wow. It was really chocolate. But, um, so, so you have a time to yeah. yeah. <laughs> So what I tell you before, this yeah. is not body imagine mm. how hard it is to go out of Cuba. Mm. To go out of Cuba, um, we go, we sit in the place that we call the swimming pool, it's like a waiting room before okay. the plane. You go inside the plane, you start to experience all this stuff like, uh, wow, how does it work, this stuff, and yeah. I don't know whatever. I always make a joke with the toilet in France. That's the procedures. <laughs> yeah, yes. Like the toilet in France, I went and made, yes. I made pee, and then I was like, Jesus, what is this? Yeah, you're looking at it with the handle nothing flush. Up, and then yeah, you know, oh my God, what is this? And Just then press that button. I said, okay, I give up. And then when I turn around, whoosh, wow, <laughs> hey, what is this? I mean, it's like this. Yes. Thing. And then uh, uh, I came here in Austria, and that time I was in, in summer, but I came back in, in winter, mm -hmm. December 2017, and uh, the first shop was coldness. Okay. Snow, mm. everything white, cars white, road white. Mm. Uh, second shock was everybody dressed up in dark clothes. Okay. <laughs> but not everybody, most, the 99% yes. yes. dark clothes. Yes. Gray, but brown, black, mm. but dark. Mm. The two of them. And the fourth shock was uh, the faces of the people. In Cuba, we, we, we have many problems, Ken. Many, many, many problems. Yes. But we swallow the problems with a smile. Okay, so you mean that people are, don't appreciate what they have? No. I think and that the, the people, see it I, 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 I think that the people, yes. all of them have to go out of Cuba, have experience to see how it's living in Cuba, not mm. make tourism. Mm. Because the same happened with the people when they go to Cuba. Mm. The people come from here to Cuba and they say, wow, and you want to go to the beach? You yes. pack, you go to the beach. You yes. go. And, then, and this is not living in Cuba. Mm. It's another speed. Interesting. Yeah. For me now, going to Cuba is great because it's a family, but it's a speed me down yes. a little bit from the speed that I have here. Yes. It's to talk the door to your neighbor mm. at 2 o'clock in the morning. Hey, how are you? Huh? Without announcing. Yes. And then, hey, how are you? How are you? What are you doing here this hour? Oh, I'm so bored in my house. Like, hey, come here. And then you start speaking. Yes. Take a drink. Here, you cannot do this. The, the, the way that people greet on the street. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Uh, this kind of thing. So you, so you feel like the warmth is missing. It's missing. Yes. yes. It's, this is, an, it's, this is where the, they are worse or they are better. Mm. They are different. Mm. And this difference is very heavy for us. Mm. Of course, there are things that we have to shape in much. Yes. Transportation, efficiency of the transportation, yes. uh, uh, many, many things that are mm. here that are great, you know? Mm. Of course, the perfect world would be a little bit of this, a little bit of this, yes. together, yes. but this is not possible. Yes. It doesn't matter where you are, yes. it's not possible yes. to have this. But uh, it was tough at the beginning. Still, there are things that are happening that are very tough. Do you want to take an idea you've always had but was really missing the expertise to be able to make this a reality? Do you have a legacy system in your business that is preventing you from increasing the efficiency and the productivity? Or do you have a website as a small business 
where you want to increase the traffic of unique targeted users and gain more leads and more clients and grow your business. Tech Via Labs is a complete software development company which specializes in the latest technologies and aims to achieve your goals by delivering success which derives from making the right decisions. If you're looking at taking a step and getting a free appraisal about your idea, about your business with the right expertise, please go ahead to www.techvidalabs.com. There are things that are still tough, but I was lucky, very, very lucky because of uh, two things mostly. Three things. One uh, is my daughter, mm -hmm. my daughters, Alia, un, 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 un Anisha, un Sheila, un Cuba. Uh, second, um, I uh, can dance. And the dancing opened me many doors. Okay. The third was amazing people mm -hmm. that were surrounding me. And all the people that were not amazing or were not nice to me, but teach me, maybe in the hard way, mm -hmm. to learn stuff. So how did you acclimatize them? Because obviously based on that initial perception and then views of when you came here, people would not seem to be as warmly as what you experienced in your life. But then you adjusted and acclimatized to that based on the love of music and dancing. Yeah. But how was that like? Because wasn't that also like coming from Cuba? Did you then look to identify with other Cubans? Mm -mm. Um, when I came here, the first thing that I did was... Because that tends to happen sometimes. Yeah, yeah. People like, you leave where you're from, and then instantly when you move... Yes. No, um, in the moment that I came here, my, my wife was... My ex-wife was Austrian. Okay. I moved first, first... I was moving first in her cycle of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them we... Sympathize or the no, mm -hmm. um, and her family was an amazing family. Mm -hmm. Her family was amazing, really, very supportive and everything. Um, but then uh, I met uh, a Cuban guy, Ruben, and he bring me to the place where they were dancing because I didn't have nothing. Yes. And then in this place, I said, "Wow, music, dancing, salsa." entertainment and then in this place I saw I want to work in this place oh okay and then I accept to start working there it was before I mean yes. after many other couple of years and this place was called Club Havana mm -hmm. and then I was doing the ditches watching the no the the, the, um, the glasses, the glasses. The glasses. Yeah. But I was so enthusiastic that I was watching the glasses I said, okay, five minutes, mm -hmm. and dancing 15 minutes. Really? I jumped in the other side, then 15 minutes, come back, watch this. And then uh, the whole night was like this, <laughs> from 10 o'clock until 6 o'clock. Wow. And then I get to meet amazing people, and I start to step my net of yes. friends. Then he bring me once to another place that is, was called, uh, at that moment, Floridita, or Danson, the place where we get met. Yes, yes. And in this place, uh, the first time that I came, uh, I always, every time I go to the parties, I said, wow, I want to dance with that girl, I want to dance with that girl, I want to dance with that girl. With this intention, not other to bring nobody yes, to yes, the yes, bed or something yes, like this, yes, yes. just because of dancing. Yes. And then I saw one girl, one blonde girl, that was dancing like a god, really like a goddess. So like she was just... Uh, born in the whole floor down. Amazing. Born in the whole floor down, amazing, something amazing. Yes. I said, wow, I have to dance with yes. this one, in this proud yes. stuff. And then I came to her and I said, I would like to dance with you, and she told me no. Oh wow! Why no? Yes. Because I don't, I don't want. I said, okay, and I never visit this place for this situation for two years. How was that like then? Was it shot? Because normally, I could guess when you were dancing, was this kind of like freestyle? Was this uh, salsa, and zomba? How let was me, that like? Let so me tell you the better the connection. Better connection. Then I come back to this place after two years, and yes. I tell the owner that I would like to work there in Florida. I said, cleaning the floor, mm. but I wanted to work there. Okay. Because I know mm. that I could go inside there and make something mm. there. 
And then the guy gave me a job that was called Cuban Taxi Dancer. Okay. This concept, Cuban Taxi Dancer, is a concept that was developed in America in the beginning of the 20s um, in order to keep clients in the, in the locations. Mm -hmm. Because there were many women, or many men could be, but they go to these places to dance, but nobody danced with them. Mm -hmm. And we were having this problem. Mm -hmm. And we were like, three men, 20 women. And the women were those, uh, there in the corner without nothing. And then I took this job for one uh, day, four hours. Mm -hmm. Then the women came with, oh, we want to have the dancing, and dancing, dancing more days. And then they give me two days. Okay. And then I proposed him to make animation on the weekends. And he said, well, we can try. We try. It works. <coughs> and then four hours became 16 hours a week. Really? And then I made my... <coughs> so really, from a business perspective then, if you look, because obviously the Cuban taxi dance, that's interesting, I've never heard about that before. I briefly spoke to Arena, she was like, this is the structure. So normally in a, in a club, you don't really have that scenario. So this is like, everyone just dancing and enjoying different <coughs> friends, if you want to dance, so be it. <coughs> so this is a quite an interesting strategy from a business perspective to retain customers, yeah. to I ensure know. you can get people to come back. Definitely, definitely. The situation changed. Mm. And today, I am still paying the price of this because what was a job for me, I almost have it in blood. Wow. I dance with this one, the other one, the other one, the other one. And it doesn't matter if it's young, beautiful, ugly, whatever. I dance with everybody. I have danced even with people in wheels, uh, ch chairs of wheels. Mm. I have everything. But I tell you something. Th this experience was what really uh, pumped me. Mm like an uh, entertainer in this city. Mm. This was the best job ever in my whole life. Wow. In my whole life. So what you're saying now then is the power of finding something that you really can do that fits your traits, but also it's a passion of yours. So if you can enjoy what you're doing, it makes this it so much easier. This was That a, doesn't feel like it's work. This was a, yeah, this was a big luck. Mm. Uh, listen, normally, you saw me, mm. and I go there and dance with the whole floor, yes. no problem. Yes. So imagine that someone pay you for doing this that right. for you is normal, yes. and besides you get the drinks. Mm. I mean, the drinks, I don't drink alcohol, yes. I don't drink beer, wine, nothing, I yes. just drink juice and water. Yes. So For life, you're healthy. It's the same. I'm not, I'm not healthy. I don't, I don't, I don't yes. like it. So yes. the only thing that I don't like from my work, my, my, in the cycle of my, my job, is the alcohol, mm. but I can't tolerate that. So I get some drinks, yeah. whatever. But I have a problem with the drunk people. Only you can be drunk in the corner. This is not a yeah, problem. Fine. But when you get to me, and then we have. Yeah. But you don't really get that because obviously you said in terms of environment. Do you find that there isn't that much skewed of drunk people or people are vomiting that are going to these? Say the Latin. No, bars. no, no, no. I've no, never no. experienced. I've only been to a few, but I've never experienced that. In eleven years, I have seen two people doing this. Exactly. In eleven years, yes. two people, and I am moving almost, almost in every platform of the city, mm. uh, because I try <clears throat> somehow to 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 not be only the the Moses from one place, for Moses from everywhere. Interesting. Yeah, Moses from everywhere. One of the things that I always try to sell everybody. Don't, don't, I mean, of course they are business and the people have to protect the business. Yes. If your business is to sell this glass and there is another glass here, they're going to protect this glass. Yes. But for me, I have no work for, I don't see it like this. Yeah, true. I see it like, I am with this glass and I am with this glass. Mm. I am privileged because I can go to any platform in the city and nobody hate me. Yes, true. How I do it, don't yeah. ask me, I don't know. <laughs> but I go to every single event, I promote every single event of the city of Latin dances. And this has put me in a really privileged position. So, uh, so that means you leverage this Cuban taxi dancing theme, yeah. but it's not aligned to one specific club. So you create an event and then you have various club this organizers. Was, this was, this was that structure. In Vienna, this was the first time that we make it. That I, I don't know. In Vienna, uh, that was the first time that we make it there here. Now in Danson, they are making still this, this project with Blaga. Mm -hmm. uh, so once a month on Thursday, they made this, and it was the last time was on Thursday. It was full wow. the place. 
something that I don't like too much neither. Okay. Because when you are too full, the place for acid, yeah, like, and it's not good. But yes. it's okay. You cannot it regulate how many people. people. Shows that the business is. But yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, for business yes. is a great thing. Yes. I, I I admit that. Yeah. But I I see it from the perspective of a dancer, no, yeah. as a Agreed. business. Agreed. Agreed. But for, of course, for yes. uh, for the people who are feeling and, and another thing that for the, this was good, uh, Ken. Uh, and I post something today on Facebook on that, uh, that I saw from Jennifer Lopez. Uh, uh, she, she posted something some time ago when they have um, a, a program that is called World of Dances. Okay. And in this program they have crews from different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And she came inside there and said, this is what I like from this, because the people are going together here, they are getting along so good, mm -hmm. and this is the way I would like to put my presence in, inside of the scene. I would like to connect more the people, that the people go here from this one to this one to the other one to the other one because I came here in a period that was a little bit uh, difficult mm -hmm. from this direction. Mm -hmm. This one was making a party and then the other one, oh, I make another party and then they don't see it like, okay, we have to make good parties and we make it with uh, quality yes. and then we see, Amazing. because this city is so big, mm -hmm. we have two million people. Yes. We only have to into There's intoxicate, into yeah, we have to intoxicate yes. these two million, if possible, ten thousand. So really, you're on a mission of, your mission of love. You're on a mission to be able to provide value to people, to enjoy, yeah. to break down one's inhibitions. Yeah, and in terms of horror. feeling too stuck up and thinking that life is like, oh, this is a standard yeah. process, but to break it down using music and dancing. And dancing definitely. Definitely. And to discover, mm -hmm. because I was a, a, a really shy guy, you won't believe me. Okay. I was at the table, I made the course, but I would never come to a girl and tell Really? Shy? The first time. This? I was, <laughs> I was, I was yes. like, to tell her, listen, from the first time that I see your eyes, I'm crazy for you. Yes. Like, I was not this guy, I was yes. didn't have this self-confidence. Yes. And since I made this job, I, I'm, at the moment I have my girlfriend and so on. But, I, I am not afraid to, to talk with everybody. My self-confidence is extremely strong now. And so strong that I could dance with, I mean, imagine, okay, every in the night, the night have uh, 240 minutes, four mm -hmm. hours. Yes. Uh, I am a, a, a dance colleague. Mm -hmm. I could dance four hours mm -hmm. without stopping, mm -hmm. one with every girl, only stopping to drink, to make this and go. And go. Four hours. I, I can't do this. Maybe not so much now. It's intense though. With yes. this very. <laughs> <laughs> but I could do this. Yes. I, this is not a problem. And I was so fit, man, with this. Wow. From the healthy point of point, I didn't have to go to a gym to that. First. Second, the, not, the, not, not the, everybody, but the 95% of the people were really nice to me. Mm. It was great. I even have problems with the police because of the music in my house. And when I go to the station in the 8th district, the woman that was taking care of me told me, uh, do you know Moises from that song? From uh, Floridita? Oh, uh, my daughter is uh, Isabella. Oh, she okay. does with you there and, and oh my God, man, you are amazing. Uh, and the woman so helped me to solve the problem. Wow. <laughs> so you're overcoming some sensations. No, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't believe in this sensation <laughs> stuff. But, uh, uh, yes. uh, this is something that really uh, I, 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 have, I feel like uh, this power mm. to make the people get infected with this mm. good thing. And when you are coming to a country with another culture where the people uh, are not normally like in the place where you are, when you are alone, mm. because many of us are here alone, True. we don't have papa, mama, yes. uncle, cousin, so we are finding our best friends sometimes in this environment. So. Uh, our best friends, or jobs, yes. or uh, the doctor that can help us with this, or the person who can bring you to a podcast. You're building a community I mean, for yourself. Really? That's how it really spreads. Yeah, yeah. this is this is a really amazing environment. Yes. Amazing environment mm -hmm. to self confidence. There is a girl that is called Beige. That I am always I am in love with this girl because mm -hmm. she she made the girls uh, so self confident at dancing. Mm -hmm. There are people who are not coming to dance because they think, oh, me dancing, uh, guys, guys, mm -hmm. no, this is not for guys, this yes. is not, but this is in the, in the brain of some of us, but this is so amazing. It's that mindset to break that down so and amazing. just go and just enjoy it. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter if you are fat, it doesn't matter yes. if you are black, you are Catholic, yes. you are, it's just 
talking through the dancing with someone, mm. some other person. Mm. And Ben is doing this, another black guy is doing this, another guy that I call Javier Marie from Colombia, uh, Jorge Morales. There are many guys mm. who are infecting the city with this good feeling. It's amazing. And, and every one of them in, in their own places, and when the people get together, this is something amazing, really, mm. something amazing. And the people just have to discover it. Do you feel that if you didn't have that aspect of your life in terms of the Cuban taxi dancers you're involved, how would that, where would you be, do you feel, in the scenario now, if that wasn't part? The dancing, the entertainment, if you were just, you immerse yourself in this new environment, you're part of the Austrian culture, you're now working a standard job. I think that I would do tourist life. Oh, really? Okay. I made myself a, a, a study with okay. the WIFI, with okay. the Institute that oh, yeah, make cool. investigations yeah. about, about uh, which are your possibilities of your work that mm. are, are okay for your personality, yes. for your intelligence and so on. Uh, I saw the results, some of them were very disappointing. But uh, no I was, I was <laughs> very, the woman didn't know what I was doing. Yes. And the woman told me, you are good to work with people. You are good with, to work with people. You should be a tourist guy, like a entertainer, yeah. someone who has to do with uh, scenes of dancing. And it was like, Jesus. Mm. It's amazing that when I was only 14, 16 years, I saw that I could do this. Yes. And I am doing it. I like yeah. this. But if I wouldn't do the job of entertainer, I would really, really, really love to do um, tourist guy or something mm. like this. So now, so basically what you're saying to everyone is like, no matter where you are in your life currently is, although you have to, you know, work and put food on the table for your family, but try and also do things that you enjoy. Would you say the that's perfect, The aspect? perfect point is to be able to do both things. Mm. This is the perfect point. Uh, and I would include mm. to have the possibility to go to Cuba every month. Every month? To okay. church. Yeah. To church. That's interesting. I mean, uh, it's funny, yeah. but some people see the posting that you make on, on Facebook and they think, wow, this guy is doing so good. Mm. This guy, look at this event, look at this event, and look at this and this and this. And uh, this is wrong. Sometimes you are sad. Mm. Sometimes you have problems. Sometimes you are sick. Mm. But you always, I always try to show the best mm. side of the world, the best side of me to the people. I have some points of exception. Yes. They have some videos on Facebook that I'm not proud of, mostly because of things that are, concern, are related to Cuba. Mm. Two moments in Cuba that are a little bit sad, that I say bad words or something like this. Okay. But uh, the intention behind, uh, behind this is to bring the best of the people, to bring the people together. Yes. This is my, my, my message. But uh, I see that definitely I will try to put together these three points. Something that give me, provide me the uh, resources that I need to put the bread on the table of my family, something that made me happy, and something that allow me to go to Cuba every time, one, minimum once a month, I will be happy. Wow. And it would be even better if I could bring my whole family to Cuba yes. and just don't come here to Austria uh, one month, but with all the conditions. Mm -hmm. Because this is what everybody is, is, is uh, expecting. Nobody is expecting to go to Kenya, mm -hmm. to be in Kenya suffering. Mm -hmm. Everybody go to Kenya or to mm -hmm. Malaysia or to whatever in order to get some development to make better for you and for your family, most of them. So for the last question, so someone that's going through troubles in their life or loneliness, they've moved over to Vienna or any other country mm -hmm. relocated, what would you suggest for them to do in terms of to embrace them into the community, into the environment, based on your experience? I would say, first of all, learn the language of the place where you are going to, mm -hmm. especially if it is, a, if it is a, a, a language that is not that, let's say, international, like English or mm -hmm. Spanish. Uh, second, uh, learn to drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because even when you don't really have to have a car, mm -hmm. in the place where you are going, to have the ability to be able to drive uh, will give you the opportunity to move in some circumstances mm. and even to find a job. Mm. Third, make sure that your profession is recognized in the place where you are going to if you pretend to keep going doing it. Mm -hmm. 
Third and fourth, don't forget the place where you're coming from. Doesn't matter if you become Michael Jackson or you are just Moses. Mm. Don't forget the place where you're coming from. Did you hear that, from, guys? Don't forget where yeah. you come from. The yeah. aspects of where because, you get to in your life, don't forget where you're coming because from. Because I tell you something, and this I haven't told too many people. I feel happy, no satisfied. Yes. Happy with what I have achieved as entertainer in Vienna. But I think that my highest point of satisfaction as entertainer, professional entertainer, I will reach it the day that I, I will be able to be recognized in my country as entertainer mm -hmm. for doing something amazing mm -hmm. in my country. Mm -hmm. Bigger than that, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. I could be even the best entertainer of uh, the whole world. I don't care. Mm -hmm. But my biggest target is to be big in my country, mm -hmm. in Cuba. There are many people with talent, many, many people with talent. Some of them don't have the resources. Mm -hmm. Some of them cannot have a super jacket, with, uh, but they are so good mm -hmm. or even very good that many that we can see on the TV. Mm -hmm. And they are just there. They are just there. Mm -hmm. Since God, they are appearing some other uh, tools like Facebook Social media and all these things to go direct that are going to make the world to see more from Cuba. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's providing a, but, a light. <coughs> but it's a fact that this is not what, what we're going to see on the CNN. Mm. Because it's not in the interest of CNN to promote the culture, Cuban mm. culture. It's not in the interest of any of these big uh, companies to promote these values that don't have nothing to do with all the things that they value of the authentic Cuba. I think that's one good advantage with media today, is that one can make the decision on which information they consume. If they want to consume CNN, CNBC, Fox News, uh, a station on YouTube, this is true, yes, but we're going to be channeled with that on TV. This is true, uh, Ken, but the point is that in Cuba, even when the people have a high level of education, mm. people don't have the, the experience to deal with this. People mm. are learning now with yes. this. Yes. I tell you something, the most stupid thing that I did mm. in my life, there are some uh, emails that some guys is sending to everybody, uh, listen, I am uh, the owner of a bank in, uh, I don't know, whatever, and then I follow this line, I follow it. And when I came here, my ex-wife told me, Moses, are you stupid? This is a guy who wants to take advantage sure. from you. So, this experience... So, it's knowledge and understanding exactly, about technology, exactly. yeah, and that comes with experience. People need to yeah. have this experience to yes. see. I am the owner of the bank immediately, mm. because it happened to you. Sure. I have some money for you, Yeah. So uh, these people are dealing with this, with the virus, with something that someone hacked your computer, mm -hmm. with the, to know that uh, if you are using Facebook, uh, they have, the, in Europe now, because now in Europe they put it under control. GDPR. But in Cuba policies. they don't have this. Yeah. So if you want that you go to a platform and you decide to uh, say, okay, as they don't have the rules, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, you are exposing your data or your information to use it like they want. Yes. Yeah. And so in so many other countries. So Cuba is now in this process. But what I was telling you at the beginning, even when this is the the, the way that the people are uh, now uh, trying to promote their work mm -hmm. outside, as I'm doing it from here, even mm -hmm. with some project too, um, and you too, uh, this will take some time. Mm -hmm. This will take some time. Then we take some time uh, in order that the people, and, uh, and it needs only not only time, it needs money and intention from someone. Mm. If I would have a million in the pocket right now, Ken, we wouldn't be doing this interview in Cuba. Believe me. Believe me. And it's not that I am uh, the most nice guy of the world. No, no. I believe that this country, my country, has so much power, so much thing to share with the world. but. The, 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 the media that reach the world, the media that reach the world have not as priority to share this kind of experience. They are more interested about, oh, the president of Cuba was running with this, uh, uh, in Cuba there was a tornado and nobody's helping. I mean, this kind of stuff, of this is a big sell. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So this is what they sell. Mm. I don't pretend to dictate the regulations while they move to the left or to the right. Mm. but. It would be so nice that at least they respect the truth mm. and they share it correctly. Yes. And of course, uh, my sixth, fifth, sixth advice is the people focus on what you come to do here. Mm. You come to work, 
Think about working, think about getting educated, think about uh, interacting with people, respecting the culture, mm -hmm. respecting the culture of the place where you are, and to integrate. You cannot get developed in this country when you go against this country. I mean, that was, I was thinking like this before. I mean, oh, uh, this country of shit, no, 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 Focus in what you want to do, fight for what you want, you will fall many times, get ready to get hit, push, push. I was here discriminated two times, one of the times with my daughter in the bus, but it doesn't mean that all the Austrian people are racist. Don't tar everyone with the same brush. The best yeah, advice of in my life about this that changed my truth. Sometimes it's about that someone sit in front of you and tell you this truth. There was a guy here that was called Jose Ritmo, in peace, rest, in rest in peace. Jose, and we were once, in, I was invited by him to his house to eat something, and he told me something amazing. He told me, Moses, you know what the biggest race is here? And he told me, we. I said, he's black. Oh, yourself, said, right? <laughs> How the hell you tell me this? It's not possible. I cannot be racist with yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, Moses, yes, because yes. you go to the street, you have a discussion with someone, and the first thing that comes to your brain is that someone is discussing with you because you're calling your skin. Not necessarily could be this yes. reason. So from this point, my perception yes. of the notion changed. Yes. And then something funny happened in Vienna. I don't know if it happened to you, but every black people that you cross in Vienna say, hello, hello. All the time. This is how you, you acknowledge each other, right? Crazy. Yeah, this is like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like this, yeah, you yeah, because the ethnicity, the, the, the ethnic minority is very small. So when it's very small, you tend to see similar people Someone and then you know their head. That's why. But when Someone it grows, because in London, it's not like that. You well, know, in France, it's a larger, in France, that's why. So when it's more multicultural, but large population, then you're not going to be. Ah, okay, yeah. you can be the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. This would be the six points that I would say to anybody who come here. Don't try to open a company, mistake made like this one, if you don't know how to support the rules mm -hmm. of, the, of the taxes, of mm -hmm. the support of the government, of the uh, insurances, everything. Mm -hmm. Study everything before to make it. Even before to come here, study how does it work, the things here, all the ones that are possible to study. They are things that are going to break you. Mm -hmm. Like, you come and suddenly, uh, you are driving with a moped, uh, you buy a moped, yes. that, no moped, a um, scooter, the scooter that runs 75 kilometers per hour and suddenly there is a, lo a, lo a law that sets 18 kilometers per hour rule and, you and then you don't know, you don't know, you don't know this rule is in one place because you don't stay in German mm. and then you have a problem because hey, no, but I, this is a scooter, yeah, but starting today is 18 kilometers per hour, changed. but if you don't know the language, the if you don't know the law, True. Moses, it's been an absolute pleasure. You're truly an inspiring person. Um, you learned so much, so much. I think a lot of people are going to really get so much advice that can really appeal. And also using this platform for people to learn and also for you to express. And I think you've, like, you're still going through your life and you've gone through so much and you're doing things that you really enjoy. And I think as a summary from this is to tell people to follow the words of wisdoms and really just to be honest in what they do. So, Moses, it's actually a pleasure. It's a pleasure too, Ken. And uh, just to finish, I would like to uh, tell you that every Thursday we are having a program yes. online that's yes. called Vienna's Latino Carpool, where we uh, make interviews of different people from different parts of the world mm -hmm. about different topics like uh, law, about dancing, mm -hmm. about music, about everything, mm -hmm. everything. And it's every Thursday between mm -hmm. Uh, six and eight o'clock, it mm -hmm. changed depending on the situation of the uh, guest. And uh, it will be a pleasure once uh, to have you as a visit and I'll to, come to, to, to talk yes. about all this uh, yes. story of uh, the podcast. I'll be there. Yeah. Moses, thank you. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one.